Hi, this is Eric Peterson with Landopia. Wanted to uh, go over this week's deal of the week with you. Uh, we're going to be in Costilla County, Colorado this week. Uh, that's southern Colorado, just north of the New Mexico border. Um, by the way, if you're not on my uh, buyers list already, getting my, my regular week, weekly emails, um, you can get on the list by coming to my homepage. It's Landopia, L-A-N-D-O-P-I-A dot com. Scroll down below the main photo and you'll see this join our preferred buyers list bar. You're going to enter your email in here. Click join now. You'll get a uh, confirm email uh, sent to you where you'll click a link and confirm that you wanted to join the list. And then you'll get my, my regular deals of the week, um, which will include discounts on properties as well as announcements for new properties and, and maybe some um, important information about buying land, things of that nature. Um, Jumping right into this week's property, uh, we are looking at this uh, 2.47 acres in Wild Horse Mesa, which is in San Luis, Colorado. Um, the property is um, mostly sagebrush along with, you know, some other maybe larger bushes, but uh, there's no trees on the property. It does have road access. Um, here's just some photos of the property. Um, here we're looking from the northwest corner, looking to the south. Um, here is the southeast corner, looking to the north. And uh, if we go back here a couple, the first one was the northeast corner, looking southwest. You can see some some neighbors off in the distance here. Uh, we've got the, the mountain ranges, of course. And uh, here's the southeast corner. Um, I'm sorry, we're looking southeast from the center of the property here, okay? Um, so if we look at some of these images looking north, which um, if we scroll down to the, our images, let's see here. I was just going to show you Mont Blanca off in the distance if we can see it in some of these photos. There's looking east, looking northwest. We'd want to be looking really... Uh, northeast um, I guess it's kind of behind this ridge so we really can't see Mount Blanca um, at least from this portion of the property um, in some of these other photos uh, let's just take a quick look yeah we're we don't really get a view of Mount Blanca from this property here's some of the road conditions you can see it is oh I'm sorry about that you can see it is uh, sandy wow it's going crazy on me I apologize um, yeah, so the roads are, are relatively sandy, though they're, they look to be fairly smooth. Um, but you can see here just, you know, some footprints. So, you know, this is relatively soft sand. Um, you could probably get in there in a car, um, but, uh, you know, may not be the best choice. You can see here, uh, my photographer was using a, a truck or SUV of some sort to, to get out there. Um, at any rate, uh, you can go to my website here and take a look at these photos if you desire. Um, we'll jump right into the details on the property. This property is in San Luis. It is um, pretty close to the mountain home. I'm sorry, not the mountain home. The, the Sanchez Reservoir um, is just over the, the kind of hills um, to the west. Um, so I'm sorry, to the east. So these this hill that's here, um, you know, that continues to rise off in the distance. And then on the other side, um, you have the Sanchez Reservoir. Um, just some of the details. Um, it's about 625 feet in depth, 166 feet wide. APN number is 712-07-240. It is Wild Horse Mesa, Section C, Block 26, Lot 4. Uh, we've got some GPS coordinates listed here. Um, elevation is going to be almost 8,000 feet. Uh, property taxes are about $32 a year. The property is zoned estate residential, which means uh, in Colorado, um, you could build a home that could be site built. You could do a manufactured home. Uh, you could do a mobile home if it's HUD approved. Um, you can camp on the property for up to 14 days every three months. Beyond that, you're going to need permits and you're going to need septic and a water source on the property. 
Um, and even then, those permits are only temporary. The, the longest one you can get is an RV occup occupancy permit while you're building on the property. And that one can be good for, I believe, up to 18 months, but you still would have to have septic on the on the property in order to be there beyond that 14 days every every uh, three months. So oftentimes when I talk to clients, you know, there are a couple RV parks in the area, which would be um, completely feasible to stay at if you were maybe um, going to be there for more than 14 days at a time. You could go out to the RV park for a couple days and come back or what have you. Um, or if you were building and you needed to, you know, be off the property for a while while you're building or until your septic was in, you know, you could do that temporarily. Uh, there are roads in the area. They're, they're decently maintained, I would say. Um, there's no utilities on the property, so your power is going to be by solar generator or wind. Um, you could dig a well or put in a cistern holding tank for water, um, and you would need to put in septic if you're going to live there beyond that, you know, 14 days we talked about for camping. Um, again, here's the photos. Um, let's look at these maps real quick, because this will give you a pretty good feel for the, the lay of the land, if you will. Um, <clears throat> here off in the distance, this is Mount Blanca, 14,000 foot mountain. Um, you know, that's, that's north of the town of Blanca, but uh, in this aerial view, we can see it. I imagine if you were up here on the property looking to the north, you would be able to see the, the mountain there. But uh, down here in the lower portions, due to the, the rise in the land that you see here, um, you know, you really can't see the mountain. Uh, but there are, there are mountain ranges uh, off to the west and to the south as well. So, I mean, you really do have mountain views no matter where you look. Um, here's a, a view looking uh, to the west. That doesn't make sense. That's looking to the east. That's labeled wrong. Um, here we're looking to the west. And here we're looking to the south. So you can see, you know, there's kind of this this ridge or this hill that, uh, you know, occupies a part of the property. Now, you could definitely build um, into that hill or at the base, you know, down here in the flats or potentially even up near the top somewhere, depending on what you wanted to do. Um, here's the GIS image. Uh, you can see these are all pretty much two and a half acre lots going through here. Um, here we're going to be about the, the fourth in from the end here. Um, the photos, we kind of touched on those briefly. Let's um, switch over to the location here. So this map is showing the property down here on uh, Tristel Lane, and uh, this is Alamosa up here. Uh, there you're going to find your big box retailers, um, Home Depot, Walmart, things of that nature. It's about 51 miles or an hour drive approximately. You could um, head south. Um, you have um, Taos, New Mexico down here. Um, that would be probably your next closest decent sized city I guess there's some ski resorts and stuff down here around Taos if you're um, into um, winter skiing um, and then of course I mean you do have the town of San Luis um, I believe it's like the oldest uh, town in Colorado or something to that effect there's there's some history there um, and you know, I mean, even though this is about an hour's drive, I mean, most of this is, is highway driving. Um, so those are all paved roads. It's, it's only this last little bit here um, on K and then up to uh, Tristel Lane um, that's not paved. So access to this property is, is actually really nice. Um, we were talking about the Sanchez Reservoir before. You can see it here. So it's over kind of this, this mountain range. Um, here. Um, so actually accessing that reservoir, um, you know, I think there's a way to navigate through over the mountain here. Um, however, depending on weather, that may not be feasible. Of course, you can also access it from the east here coming in. Um, 
This is uh, County County Road 21, I believe. Yeah, um, so you could get into it there. But that distance is is really only well, we can take a quick measure of it. I think it's like three four miles. Um, this, yeah, there you go. So uh, five and a half miles approximately, um, as the crow flies, as it were. Um, so Colorado Springs, uh, Denver, um, they're a, a decent distance away. Colorado Springs is 165 miles. Denver's going to be about 235. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of wildlife in this area of Colorado. You have, um, up around the Fort Garland area, you have, uh, a lot of, uh, like a large elk herd up that way. Um, you're going to have wild horses, uh, a variety of wildlife in this area. Um, so deer, etc. Um, let's, uh, take a look here at the Google earth view. Um, here we're just looking uh, directly overhead at the property. If we tilt this view so we can get a kind of perspective on the, the lay of the land here, you'll start to see the shape of this. Let's tilt this. So you can kind of see how the, how the property rises there. Um, as we, it's about a third of the way through, it starts to rise. There you go. You can kind of see that. So the change in elevation is going to be, uh, let's see here up at the top. We're at about 7,944 feet and down at the bottom we're about 7,854 so you know I mean about 100 feet and change in elevation as that rises up on that that particular parcel um this is Thistle Road or Tristle Road um you know, we saw the photos of it back here. I mean, it's it's a pretty decent road for the area. I mean, that's that's pretty well maintained for for what you see around here. Um, so, you know, this uh, these couple of streets here are going to be dirt until you get out out here to the paved highway, which is one fifty nine. So that distance, uh, we could take a quick measure on that. Uh, let's grab our measurement tool. We'll look at this and uh, we'll go for miles. And uh, so we'd be looking. No, hang on. It's not working for me. Try that again. So that little piece is about a tenth of a mile. Then this piece is about a mile. So, I mean, two, a mile and a half of dirt road basically to access this property. Not, not bad at all. Um, as we were talking before, this is about 160 feet wide, I think. Yeah, 165 feet wide. In about 625 feet deep. That's the dimensions of the property. So um, anyways, uh, if you want to take a look at this yourself on a map, there is a Google Maps link right here on the website. You can also um, copy and paste these coordinates um, into Google Maps. You just copy one um, and bring it over into Google Maps. And you're just going to paste that coordinate in here and uh, do a search and it'll take you right to that particular corner pin for the property. Um, if you want to look around at, you know, nearby cities and other things like that, I mean, uh, taking a look at San Luis while we got this open, you can see, I mean, you've got, uh, and San Luis is, is actually really close to the property. We can get a distance. 
So we'd be looking at um, 10 miles into San Luis. So, you know, I mean, you've got uh, a few a few things, you know, some restaurants. You're going to be able to find gas, convenience stores. Um, you know, here's another restaurant, a hardware store. So, you know, I mean, you're going to definitely find some necessities in San Luis. But uh, if you need something bigger, Alamosa would be your next best bet. You do have a high school here. There's a family dollar store, etc. cetera. Um, so... Anyways, uh, that is 2.47 acres in Wild Horse Mesa, Section C, Block 26, Lot 4, APN number 7120740. Thanks.